In the gospel, the Jews want to pick up stones to throw at Jesus because he's making himself equal to the Father, saying, uh, saying that the Father is in me and I, in, I am in the Father. And Jesus says, what, uh, for what good works uh, from the Father are you trying to, do you want to stone me for? for? And they say, uh, not for good works, but for blasphemy, because you are making yourself out to God. And Jesus says, well, if you don't believe my words, you don't believe me, believe, my, uh, believe the things that I am doing. If you don't believe me, believe the works that I do. They give proof to what I am saying. And we can think here of the, the classic uh, um, teaching of the theologians of the church of the proof, proof for the divinity of Christ and the proof for the, for the Catholic Church uh, as well, how will you start with the historical uh, truth of Jesus, which is documented, and then you work with the, the teachings that, he's, that he gives and the commandments that he gives, and especially where he says that I am one with the Father, and he, uh, he teaches his divinity in, in that way and many, many other ways, saying that the Father is in me and I am in the Father, I am the Son of God, and many other uh, ways of proofs for his uh, saying that he is divine, that he is a God. And, and there then, then the proofs of his uh, confirming that the hand of God is upon him, that uh, God confirms his words, his divinity, by the miracles that he performs, the many, many, many thousands of miracles, maybe, maybe millions of miracles of his time, confirming that. And then, and then from there, what he established. He established the church upon the apostles and gave us the sacraments to continue to sanctify us. So this proof of the divinity of Christ and the proof of the church we, we work with. And of course, uh, God continued to confirm the truths of the church and the, uh, the, the, uh, the uh, authority of the apostles by continued miracles. Uh, in the times of the apostles in the early church, confirming the truth that which really needed to be done to conf to uh, strengthen the faith of the early Christians, and now in this later church we are living primarily by faith, and not so much by the daily miracles or, uh, or frequent miracles of the early days, but uh, this daily faith, this struggle against our, uh, our ourselves, this asceticism, this. Uh, faith and the teachings and the gospel of the church, which we try to continue to inculcate and d deepen and, and grow with on a day-to-day -day basis by our, our, our faith, by the faith in the Eucharist and the sacraments and our devotion to Our Lady. And uh, this continued asceticism and growth in virtue and love for God in a day-to-day -day, day -day struggle, day-to-day -day trust in God, seeing, still seeing, still seeing the hand of God in sort of little miraculous ways, how he answers our prayers, how he shows his love for us, how he shows his, his guiding hand in our, in our life, which is really, really an adventure, an adventure to continue to still see the hand of God without seeing God himself in the way he works in our life, in our spiritual life, in ways that nobody else can see, but we can see, in how he touches our heart and touches our mind and he enlightens us, and he strengthens us in our efforts to grow in virtue, how he rewards us and how he corrects us, how he teaches us in so many ways, this invisible way, ways of, of, uh, of sight, but, but visible ways of seeing the effects of God's work in our, in our life and in uh, our correspondence with God's grace is truly an adventure, uh, an adventure of faith, an adventure of faith that uh, we, uh, we, uh, we embark on, we, we continue on and we persevere with through the end of our life. Um, and so uh, let's continue on this, uh, this practice of our faith, this practice of our faith uh, without uh, sight but with uh, trust in God's hand in our life and in thankfulness and growth and love for him.
Christus. 